Um, hi, today I'm going to be talking about a common problem that most people that have an N64 will know all too well about. And it's a problem with the um, analogue stick on it that over time it starts to become pretty wobbly um, and it really becomes unsuitable for use. Um, this was a problem that I had with mine. Um, I had tried one of the fixes on the internet, um, or the supposed fixes where you put a bit of tape inside of the control stick mechanism and that supposedly makes it better whilst it doesn't really flop around as much I mean it's that's still moving a fair bit even though I'm not pushing on it that much um, it's still pretty unusable it's so stiff to move and it really feels it's bit, certainly it's springy again but it's just it really isn't good enough you, you still can't play the games properly for it which I was quite disappointed about since um, you know, it's I, lo I love playing on the Nintendo 64, but obviously I can't with a dodgy control stick. So I did a bit of a search on the internet, and I found um, this is my original controller that I've had. But you'll notice that this is more like a GameCube control stick, um, and yet it works with the Nintendo 64. Now you can't, but you can't just take apart your GameCube controller and put an N put that into an N64 controller. It won't work. Um, but you can buy these. Um, you can buy them on eBay um, and also Amazon, depending where you are in the world, and also from Lucky Games. Um, anyway, what this does is it really does replace the need for one of these. Um, I mean, that I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know. It just it doesn't feel it's not that when you're moving that that shouldn't be moving that shouldn't be shaking around and unfortunately it does you just you can't play a game properly with it whereas with this you get nice smooth gameplay from it um one of the things that some people have complained about is the fact that when you're playing super smash brothers you can't do smash attacks they're talking rubbish you can actually do smash attacks it's very simple um, it's a wee bit different obviously when you were doing a smash attack and smash brush you would go like this and that would do it. With this stick it's a wee bit different, you have to flick it and then press A very very quickly and then you'll do a smash attack down up um, to the other side as well. So that's that's one of the things that I was a bit um, pessimistic about buying one of these sticks for is because I couldn't do a smash attacks in smash brothers. Trust me you can. One of the other things as well, some people said it was too sensitive for things like GoldenEye. I don't think it's overly sensitive at all. Um, I think it may be the case that people are just so used to playing with their worn out control sticks that they forgot what it feels like to play with something that's spot on in terms of accuracy. Um, although I play a lot of SPF, FPS shooters um, on the PC, so I'm used to increased sensitivity with the mouse I've got. And maybe that, but certainly GoldenEye is extremely playable and I got a lot of headshots in this. Um, I tried it on the damn level and there wasn't any problems there. One thing though that you can't really do with this control stick is the spin attack in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, you know when you go like that with B and you spin the stick around, it won't work with this stick at all. It just, you can't do it unfortunately. I don't have Majora's Mask, but I'm presuming that it's the same in that one. You still can do the spin attack if you just hold down B, but obviously in the battle you're wanting to spin it around as quickly as possible, and so that's a bit of a downside with this controller. Um, but it's still more than, the game is still playable. Um, the first game I actually tried it out on was uh, Super Mario 64. Um, if you remember, there was in Womp's Fortress, there's a part where you've got to um, sneak past the piranha plant. You can still do it with this. It's not the case, as some people are saying, that you can't crawl or you can't um, creep around levels because of this stick. There's a couple of videos on YouTube saying that. Again, it's still very accurate. You can do pretty much everything you can with this stick. Um, Anyone that's saying otherwise are either lying just for the sake of it or they can't play the game properly. Um, but yeah, it's, I would highly recommend this if you have a worn out control stick. What I would say is though, there is a lot of these replacement style sticks going around on eBay. Um, don't buy them. They just they wear out so quickly. I was on one of the forums and an individual bought a, controller, a control stick just like this. And after about four hours the control stick packed in, 
it's not the most ideal of situations. Um, really, I would recommend that you go um, elsewhere to and you buy one of these sticks instead. Like I said, you can get them from uh, many sites. I'll actually I'll put the link in the description below. If you're in America, you can buy it direct from Amazon. Um, there's quite a few sellers on there that I've got, and I always recommend that people do use Amazon because then they're, if you've got any problems, they're very prompt in dealing with it, unlike um, if it was from another website. Lucky Games also do it as well, but I think Amazon are a wee bit cheaper and they'll throw in the free postage. If you live overseas like I do, I'm in the UK, um, there is, I think there is only one person on Amazon that is selling this stick. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. You can the direct buy link. You can get that. Um, apart from that, if you don't want to get it through Amazon, I don't know if I would trust sellers on eBay. I know that sounds pretty harsh, but I think better off getting it from a website such as Amazon. If you are in the UK and you don't mind waiting a wee bit extra, um, you can go and get it from Lucky Games. Um, but I think they are a wee bit more expensive. It took me. 20 days to get it from Lucky Games. I got it from there because the seller on UK Amazon had actually sold out and I really wanted to try one of these sticks. But um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. They are excellent. I haven't actually shown how to take the controller apart because it's pretty self explanatory. Just the screws there. And if you are going to take it apart, remember the two screws in here. Um, take it all apart. Um, prize out the ribbon cable, this wee thing here, from the controller. Uh, carefully because if the connector ends up breaking inside the connector on the controller then that's it game over with this but yeah um, I would certainly give give the stick a try it cost me including postage it cost me seven pound so you can't really argue with that it was a good it was a good price um I'm sure these will certainly stand the test of time much longer than what the original sticks did but yeah um, so if you fancy buying one of these sticks you can click the links or in the description below that will take you straight to the order page for it. Okay then, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.